Welcome. You are watching the Thrift Store Rundown, the only YouTube channel that I'm aware of that brings America's Test Kitchen home on a budget. Anytime we get the opportunity to do that, well, it's a good day. And today is a great day to be an America's Test Kitchen stand like me. You wanna know why? Their new season of Cook's Country, their spin-off show highlighting the regional American cuisines, some we've heard about and some we haven't, is today, this weekend. For those who believe that it's going to be the best ever season of Cook's Country on PBS, this is for you. For those who believe otherwise, yet still hold out a firm belief that the recipes are going to be pretty good, which is the highest compliment in Vermont, by the way. Love you, Christopher Kimball. This is going to be for you, too. It is Cook's Country's Special Collector's Edition Bookazine, as I like to call it, a book and magazine combo. It is their best ever recipes issue. Easy entrees, best side dishes, favorite desserts, and even a few kid-friendly fare, like this pizza monkey bread. All this picked up for 50% off the price of a buck ninety-nine, and it retails for $9.95 in the U.S. and $10.95 in Canada. This was on display until May 29, 2017. There is an entire gravy boat of best ever recipes from all across this country highlighted in here. Yet, for this review, I'm going to put the emphasis on country, within Cook's country. And, we're gonna go south, without going south. You'll see what I mean going forward. Come along! We have six recipes from the south to highlight. First, grilled cowboy cut ribeyes. The one down for each recipe is as follows. A brief story regarding the testing procedures and the development of recipes. This one from Nick Iverson. The recipe itself, this one serving four to six. Ingredients, instructions, and recipe prep tips in sidebars like this. Also, what to be on the lookout for when shopping for main components for recipes, like cowboy steaks, which will certainly have anyone shouting, Yeehaw! Tennessee Pulled Pork Sandwiches. This regional recipe features pork shredded so fine that it resembles pate. In order to get the pork butt tender enough to shred easily, Morgan Bowling found that 210 degree heat, that's an extreme heat by the way, uh, is necessary. It uses a combination of grilled smoking and even roasting. This serves eight with leftovers, and we also have a recipe for whole cakes, the recommended buns to sandwich the entire pulled pork. This is a Charleston Strip Perlou, developed by Nick Iverson with assistance from Chef Robert Steeling, and Mitchell Crosby. His variation serves four to six. And if you're not from Charleston, South Carolina, which of course is the unofficial birthplace of Amy Grandpa, I don't know if he had this recipe or not, but if you haven't been to Charleston or if you're not from there and you haven't heard of this, now you know, and now it's a must make because Rolls America's test kitchen. Why else would it be a must make? Nothing says Southern hospitality like biscuits in a basket for your new neighbors. So to that end, we have here cornmeal drop biscuits with variations for black pepper biscuits, green chili biscuits, and sage biscuits. This is by Ashley Moore. And for desserts, we have lemon icebox pie. A close relative of key lime pie, which is Florida based. This one is a favorite in the South. It's by Carolyn Papua McKay and it serves eight. This has a sparse amount of ingredient recommendations, no equipment recommendations whatsoever. They recommend Eagle Bread or Nestle Carnation Condensed Milk, which is one of the key components for this lemon icebox pie. And finally, Hummingbird Cake. In 1978, Arita Southern Living submitted this recipe of course, this being heavily altered by ATK, specifically test cook Diane Unger, so that it isn't so greasy on the palate. This serves 12 to 16, and looks no less decadent than what I assume the original Southern Living recipe looked like before. This also recommends Dole Crust Pineapple, if you can get that at the market. The best canned crust pineapple according to Cook's Country. A one down of all the recipes can be found here in the context, and a good chunk of those recipe photographs found here, where you open up the cover for the first page, and of course, on the opposite side, right here. 
Shout out to one of my Twitter followers, by the way. And I'm not kidding you. One of my Twitter followers, he followed me for my 21st birthday. Lisa McManus, executive editor of Testings and Tastings. She handles all the equipment review videos for America's Test Kitchen's YouTube channel, and she is the utmost real deal. Those six recipes I highlighted just give you a brief snapshot and a delicious one at that, as they so aptly put it, and I wholeheartedly concur, of the American table, celebrating regional cooking. We also have skillet roasted chicken and stuffing, pasta with roasted cherry tomatoes, that is a delicious use of those end of summer cherry tomatoes where they are at their maximum opulence. Husk grilled corn, and of course we already highlighted the hummingbird cake. I find hummingbird symbol of Atlanta, A-Town. What about you? Which bird connects you with your hometown or with your heritage? That's a neat question. Cook's Country Magazine features the best regional home cooking in the country. You can watch this work by tuning into our public television show, Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. And I hope you do just that. Again, the new season airs this weekend. But if you don't have access to PBS, which is unheard of, and you only have access to a Cook's Country Magazine, well then, you're still in pretty good shape because hopefully you got the merest inkling of just how delicious Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen truly is. I gotta give it five out of five claps. If I said it thrice, I will say it 3,000 times more because I love Cook's Country at ATK 3,000. By buying this and making any of the recipes which I highlighted or any recipes you might want to highlight from this, you'd be doing yourself and your family a delicious and honorable service for God and Cook's Country. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.